to another reaction video, y'all. Oh, it's your boy Cam. Back in it again with another reaction video, y'all. If you're not part of the Cam fan, make sure to hit that man, like, and subscribe button. If you like the video, that like button because gonna turn to you. Today we're reacting to I bought two hundred thousand box, two hundred thousand dollar box of Pokemon cards, you guys. This is Logan Paul, you guys. Uh, apparently Pokemon cards are very expensive, y'all. Especially if you want the exclusive ones. I'm excited to hear the story behind this. Uh, what the hell? But yeah, let's hop into the video now. What the hell? Saturday, August 22nd, 7.42 p.m. Am I gonna text from my old pal Gary V? Yeah, you seen this sports card thing? Of course. Side note, he's talking about the recent boom in sports cards. Sports cards. Sports cards? Apparently, there was a lot of money to be made investing in sports cards, but unfortunately, I don't know anything about sports cards. But I did collect Pokemon cards when I was younger, I told him. Brother, it's the new art. Pokemon, ironically, at the top. Get educated on Pokemon. All right, f*** it. I'm going to do it. I love Pokemon. Shouldn't be too hard. And it wasn't. Turns out, Pokemon is the highest grossing media franchise of all time, coming in at over $90 billion. Out of Hello Kitty, Star Wars, Mario, Harry Potter, and Marvel. And with the 25th no anniversary way. of Pokemon coming up next year, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Now, I've nice. loved Pokemon my whole life. Literally played the games all throughout high school, Same. made a couple of viral Pokemon videos, owned Pokemon art, and I only have one tattoo on my body. It's a Pokemon named Squirtle next to my penis. So I knew there was a lane here that I did indeed have a passion for. So the first thing I did was find an expert. Crazy, bro. I feel like I'm you're delivering me drugs. This feels like I'm trafficking a kilo. Like Facts, he did pull it out like, like he got a little bag of cocaine. Look at this, look at this. Meet Jake, a collectible guru also known as Collectibles Guru on Instagram. <laughs> he was nice enough to sell me seven of these little pieces of cardboard for $50,000. Yes, I paid $50,000 for seven Pokemon cards, and it gets worse. Just wait. All of the cards have red labels. Red labels are PSA. This one is BGS. Base set, first edition, shadowless. First edition, thin stamp, thick stamp. Okay, so what is this guy saying? PSA 9, BGS 10, STD 69, blah, blah, holograph, first edition, BSA, Charizard. What? I get Let me some break of it, first edition. When it comes to card collectibles, there are two main grading services, PSA and BGS. Grading means they rate the card. The higher the rating, the more valuable. The older the card, the more valuable. And the yeah. rarer the card, the most more valuable. And this exactly. dark blue shadow behind it decreases the value. And the sure, only sure. difference on one you get a stamp, on one you get a shadow. All right, I'm going to keep this simple. Pokemon first released what is called, not surprisingly, the first edition base set. Indicated by the little first edition stamp exactly. on the cards. These have the most value. The second release did not have this stamp and is also known as the shadowless set. Still highly valuable valuable because of the lack of shadow behind the Pokemon, which the following set, the regular base set, did have. So first, first edition stamp, second, shadowless, third, base set. Has a shadow. Got it? This is beautiful. This is the one? Yeah, this is the one. The holy grail of cards. This is a nine. It just broke 25,000. This card is a $25,000 piece of cardboard. <laughs> and you will literally be able to sell it probably between 35 and 40,000 by Christmas. That's what the mind fuck, blowing. What? Now, I could already tell that I was going to like this. It's nostalgic, it's a strategic investment, and most importantly, I was having so much fucking fun. Oh. So, I started okay, buying I'm more. An ad, you guys. Look, so and more. Bit it's because of that. And more. Journey. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, one of my favorite Pokemon. Gengar, also one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Woo! First edition Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. $3,000 card right here. Don't mind if I do. I'm like officially a collector. <laughs> As my collection grew, so did my excitement for the hobby. I started watching Pokemon professionals doing advanced research on eBay and even met up with some pretty passionate collectors. Slabs on slabs. Look at signs. 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 Signs and sketch. Pop one. Pop one. This is the Whoa. only one in the fucking world. <laughs> I found out instead of buying the cards outright, you could even buy what's called a booster box, which comes with 36 packs of cards, 12 of which are guaranteed to have a holographic card in it. If just one of those cards is a Charizard, you hit the jackpot. In fact, Josie actually pulled one from a random base pack I bought. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Josie Don't touch it. it. Don't even look at it. Don't breathe on it. And then she ended up doing it again. Bro, shut the f up. Shut the f up. But yeah, at the time, base set booster boxes were going for about $15,000, so I bought one. I like this little booster box oh so much, gosh. I decided to buy another. Ooh. He said don't do And another. And then two oh more. Oh my gosh. I was a bad boy in a booster seat buying base set booster boxes, bitch. <laughs> it's $25,000. But just right I admit, there. I was in too deep and my obsession was growing. I was about to hit the pinnacle of the Pokemon pyramid. Period. And look what's on my screen. This is a first edition booster box. And it's a lot of fucking money. Bags. And uh, I'm about to bid on it. You don't think I'm going to do it, dude? <laughs> yeah. Watch this. Please bid. Oh, <laughs> 
the auction ends in two days, let's see what happens. Again, I want to reiterate. If you pull one, Dude, just one, oh first edition PSA 10 Charizard, aka the holy grail of Pokemon collecting, Don't. it's worth $200,000. Just look at how excited this guy was when he pulled one. That's $25,000. Hey, congrats, man. Now you're rich. Logan, you're gonna pay $165,000 on something you don't know? No, oh, I Logan, thought it was you can't do this. this is dumb, bro. Bro, you think that's dumb? That's the current bit. That shit's gonna go to $200,000. You've lost your mind. No shit. When he does something stupid, oh. he at least puts time into it to make sure it's not that stupid. Look at the condition! Mint flavored, bitch! It's still too much money! One day when you sell enough teddy bear merch, you can drop two. It's not teddy, teddy bear merch, it's Club Pat. Alright, Bubba Town. It's a Club Penguin! You diminish our friendship, but you diminish my brand? Hey, you diminish his Pokemon. That was me being a good friend. No, he wants Pokemon! All of you guys, terrible friends. Uh, no, no fun joy! No, no fun joy! joy. No fun joy. No fun joy. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, 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 here we go! Oh, here we go! Oh, here we go. Oh, go! First edition, first prince. Yeah, dude. Hey, really let great. him have his stuff. Close the okay, we're getting bin, another bro. freaking ad. Right here, 170. No, you don't. I'm pissed about these ads. Man. Shut the. No. Up. No. Last chance. Oh, oh, shut up! up. Shut up! Look at look, 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 I support Logan spending $200,000 on Pokemon cards? No, and it's getting pretty serious. I caught him the other day dressing up Josie as a Charizard. I caught him painting all the racquetballs in the house as Pokeballs. No one in the house even plays racquetball. Who the f buys $200,000 in Pokemon cards, dumps himself in a f***ing bathtub with bubbles and scrubs them? Dude, you're ruining tub time. I didn't invite you. Get rid of it now. I was there when he got that <laughs> he squirrel tattoo. He purchased the house. I told him not to get <laughs> another Pokemon get a tattoo. House what does he do? He goes and gets one already sketched out. No. It's on his back. He's gonna fucking do it. How the f is this guy dating a Victoria's Secret model right now? What the f is happening? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> they said I'd never be nothing. But look at me now, motherfuckers. Look at this shit. I am holding in my hand the rarest, most expensive box of Pokemon cards on the planet. This is absolutely insane. Look at how beautiful this is. All right, so obviously a box of this caliber, when open, deserves to be a spectacle. And that is why, on October 9th at 6 p.m. PST, <laughs> I will be opening this world record setting $200,000 <laughs> box of first edition Pokemon cards live on this YouTube channel. And here's the kicker. I am selling all the packs. Well, I'm selling 35 of the packs. So I'm going to keep one for me. And opening them on behalf of the buyers with a shout out. We're going for that fucking Charizard. The 200 thousand dollar card or maybe a couple i heard there can be anywhere from one to like three in these boxes Woo! if you're a serious buyer go to loganslivestream.com slash pokemon or the link is in the description this is going to be historical so again october 9th next friday 6 p.m pst live on this channel so hit that subscribe button turn your notifications on and we will see you then i got two more awesome pokemon videos coming yes i'm obsessed but i love you guys and i'll see you next time peace I caught the kid the other day, he was dressing Josie up like a Charizard. It's pronounced Charizard. I don't fucking care what it is, bro! Stop wasting your fucking time and money on this bullshit. You guys, I, the video may be a little bit off, but I'm letting you know I'm going to be checking this out. Look, I love Pokemon, you guys, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be checking this out. Uh, I have to see if he gets that freaking Charizard, you guys. This is mind-blowing. That's just so... That's just so crazy. You guys let me know if you still like Pokemon. Let me know in the comment section below. How do you feel about him spending that much money on a uh, on a card? I really don't care. I would probably do the same thing. I've kind of had the same personality. Like, when I get freaking obsessed with something, it doesn't matter how much it costs. I'll buy it, you guys. That's just me, man. I, I need to stop that. I have an obsessive personality. But anyways... Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't joined the campaign yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to catch you in the...